Hello viewers and welcome to another episode for today. I'm William Abba and I'm here to give you detailed information about what is happening in the world at large. Heading to the news of today we see Air Force fighter jet mistakenly bombed soldier while attacking bandits in Kaduna. Now the news in details. A Nigerian Air Force fighter jet on a mission against bandits in Kaduna state has mistakenly bombed a ground soldier. PR Nigeria reports. This comes as the fighter jet also killed scores of fleeing armed bandits in the area. It was learned that the unarmed group soldier lost his life after sustaining terrible injuries from the military bombardment he was caught in. The terrorists who were fleeing troops onslaught in Niger were intercepted at Labi along Kaduna Brinungwari Road, a security intelligence officer said. The source who spoke on condition of anonymity said the bandits were reported to be in contact with ground troops around the Labi general area. Subsequently, the contact with the troops led to the bandits taking the option of following another route. Effective intelligence report necessitated the blocking of their alternative route by the Air Force and ground forces and the dispatch of attack platforms bearing heavy ammunition for effective annihilation of armed bandits. On arrival, visual and radio contact were established with the ground forces who described the direction of the bandits to the crew. The armed bandits and heads of Ketos were brought to instant doom as airstrikes were conducted in close succession over the general area. Fleeing bandits were followed up and engaged decisively and the sincerity of purpose, he said. Villagers in the past have reported some civilian casualties in near-daily bombardment in northern Nigeria in 2021. A military jet that came to repair an attack by Boko Haram dropped a bomb that landed in a compound where civilians were having child christening. A fighter jet also on a mission against Boko Haram, extremists in April 2021 mistakenly bombed men of the Nigerian army, killing over 20 officers. The soldiers who were reinforced from Ngadu village were said to be on their way to Mainok headquarters of the Kanga local government area of Borno state, which was under attack by militants from the Islamic State's backed faction of Boko Haram, the Islamic State West African province, ISWAP. Some of the Chiwak school girls kidnapped by Boko Haram in 2014 and freed last year also said three of their classmates were killed by Air Force bombardment. In June 2021, an offensive area bombardment of the NAF Alpha Jet carried out around Genu local government in Niger state resulted in the killing of some wedding guests. Alright my people that is it for the news. Well I don't really get it. Why did they end up killing themselves killing some innocent people? Well, I think they should be trained properly on how to use it. And those giving them information should also tell them exact place where the bandits are so that they can throw the bomb in the exact place, not on innocent people. Well, my people, that is that for this. Heading to the other news, we say Nigerians currently have autocrats, ethnic champions, incompetent and visionless people as leaders, says IBB. Now the news in details. Former military president General Ibrahim Badamasi Babangida has noted that currently Nigerians are expressing resentment against what he termed autocrats, ethnic champions, incompetent and visionless actors in the country. Babangida stated this during a visit by National Chairman of the People's Democratic Party, PDP, Senator Director Ayo, along with the members of the National Working Committee at his hilltop mansion in Mina. Niger State. The former military leader who read from a prepared speech explained the need by leaders of the party to catch in on the present moment to adequately manage the complexities of the competitive party and electoral politics in the direction of pursuing politics as a public interest project. He said, if we have failed to adequately manage the complexities of the competitive party and electoral politics since independence, we now have a golden opportunity at our present crossroads to turn the direction of pursuing politics as a public interest project. In line with the moral and statutory provisions of Articles 13 and 14 of the Constitution of Nigeria, Earlier, Senator Ayo explained that he came with members of the NWC and leaders of the party to visit the elder statesman to secure his blessings as well as tap from his wealth of experience and wisdom as the founding father of the PDP. He stated that the visit was pertinent, especially at the time the nation is crippling 
with a lot of security challenges and divisions. The national chairman of the PDP called on IBB not to relent in his efforts as ensuring that the unity of the country that he fought so tirelessly for is sustained. All right, my people, that is it for the news. Well, this man is really, really correct because our politicians have all these ethnic sentiments. They have all this religion, sentiment, all these things. They can't even work together in unity to do something because of all this ethnic sentiment that have already overshadowed them. In short, even in the world at large, ethnic sentiment, religion sentiment have become the order of the day. Anyways, we the citizens of this country, we don't care about all those things. We don't care about ethnic sentiment, religion sentiment because of politics, all those things. It's none of our business because they are fighting, they are doing all those things for their own benefit. So we the citizens, we the masses of the country just need someone, someone that will fight for us, someone that will provide what we need, basic amenities, person that have the country at heart. That is the person we want on that president seat. Not people that will keep on fighting themselves because of ethnic and trying to make the masses go with what they are thinking about the ethnic sentiment and religion sentiment of a thing. All right, my people, that is that for today. We don't know your thoughts and opinion. We we'll love you to share it with us at the comment section below. In case you haven't subscribed, we'd love you to do so. Please click on the subscribe button below and click on the bell by the side so that whenever we drop our content, you'll be the first person to get notified. Thanks for staying tuned to this very last moment and God bless you.